10 days away and distance has made hearts grow fonder. Welcome, welcome. It's odd, breaking routine. Yeah. When our babies walk through that door, they're ours. Um, they are ours for seven and a half hours a day and they're, they belong to us. We teach them, we love them, we make sure that they're taken care of. Um, and then we, we send them home and we do it all over again the next day. Melisha Carroll, a family and community liaison at Lucy Laney, says she's lucky because sometimes her students will come drive down with their parents to say hi. What about the kids? And to share love at the picket line. But other than that, she says she knows. They're just at home. Um, they're bored. They're going crazy. Um, they tell us that they miss us. <laughs> And the feelings are mutual. We worry about about our kids and want to know that they're okay. Um, so we we pretty much hold each other up out here while we're out here all day, every day. Especially as a special ed teacher, it's hard seeing my students because I've worked so hard to build relationships with them and just not seeing them, I know how hard it is for them at home right now. I mean, I think about our kids every day. They're, like I said, the, my department specifically, I work in the DCD department, so they're probably really confused as to why they've been out for 10 days. A lot of them love to come to school just for like the social community or the, like the different activities to see their friends or see their teacher. Like it's a lot of it's highlights of their days. The educators worry that when they finally do get back, progress would have been lost. It's going to be like starting all over again. But what can we do? This is overdue for us. We need better pay, seriously. We need smaller size classrooms. We need respect. And so far, they're not showing us any. But progress in school is not what some students were worried about. I would be more worried if this situation isn't fixed now because it's not only me that's going to be held back, but everybody else, like every MPLS kid right now in this district is going to feel hurt. And if we don't fix it right now, then how will the kids of tomorrow, the kids that will be born, the kids that will go into the system be affected? Students should always support teachers in what they do because they're the ones who are teaching us. So it should be right that we are giving back to them and helping them. I think it's really important. The teachers have always been here for us, and we need to be here for them too. And this is like a group effort. We're all just here supporting each other.